video, I will be taking you through five things you need to know about Czech Republic. Five things you need to know about Czech Republic. Welcome to Trish and Samuela channel. If you are new on this page, don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that anytime you post a new video, you will be notified. Now let's move to business. The first thing I want to talk about is where Czech Republic is located. Czech Republic is located in the heart of Europe. Yes, in the center of Europe. And it's surrounded by countries like Germany, Poland, Austria, and Slovakia. Czech Republic was formerly known as Bohemia, but now if you call the Bohemian or you call the whole country Bohemia, they don't like it. It has 14 regions. And the capital of the Czech Republic is Prague. Prague, Prague. Prague is the beautiful city in the whole world. In fact, it is Czech Republic is the number one beautiful country in the whole world. Prague being its best city. Also, people do come and visit Prague. But because of COVID, now the number has reduced. But when you get to Prague, you know that indeed there were a lot of foreigners coming in there. And most of these foreigners come within the spring, summer time. So if you are watching me and you want to come to Prague, do not hesitate because it's a beautiful city. And because of its beautiful um, architectural style and all that, it's among UNESCO sites. UNESCO heritage sites. The second thing I want you to know about Czech Republic is their language. Czech people speak Czech. Yes, it's interesting. <laughs> this language is so interesting. Myself, I'm really struggling. They speak Czech. Majority of the people here do not speak English. Of course, Prague being its capital, a lot of people there speak English. But in the other regions, like Hradec, like South Bohemia, and, and many others, most people do not speak English. And you have to survive. When you visit the supermarket, almost everything is written in Czech. From tomatoes to rice and all that. I remember the first time I visited Czech Republic, I had to be working with Google Translator. When I get to the shop and I'm looking for tomato to buy, I have to translate it from English to Czech if I can be able to see where or how the tomato is written and where it is located. Don't even think about oil. Tomato paste. One thing I have realized is that most of the elderly people are not able to speak English, but the younger ones mates are able to speak English. But their parents, no, they are not able to. And they expect you, Czech people expect you to appreciate their language and then study their language. Have it when you study their language then. The third thing I want you to know about Czech Republic is its population. Yes, the whole country is 10.7 million people. Ghana. Ghana is more than that. Almost three times bigger than Czech Republic. And I love Czech Republic because of the number. They are not a lot. Mm. They are not a lot. And they have a lot of natural sites. A lot of sites that you can go meditate and relax. It's so beautiful. Yeah, 10.7 million people to identify themselves as Christian. And I also use out of this 11.7 people, most of them are Catholics. Yeah. Czech people are not, they consider themselves as people who are not religious. So I was really surprised that during the Christmas period, oh my God, the people love Christmas. Czech people started preparing for Christmas almost one month to Christmas. It's just crazy. I have this friend, this family friend in Czech. Republic and she invited, she was asking me about my plans for the Christmas, their family, they did cake, they did this, they did that, they did gingerbread and all the pastries that you can think of. And each time she kept asking me, what are your plans for Christmas? What are your plans for Christmas? And I'm like, ah, but you, you are not a Christian, you know, why, why are you so um, excited about Christmas? And I was like, oh, we check if we love Christmas and truly, you can see that they love Christmas. It's crazy crazy so most of the people here consider themselves as not religious yeah they don't see themselves also as atheists they just they are just there yeah they are just there 
casa de Galeana es hijo de Ana es hijo. Sueña que en tu casa hijos nacidas, hija de los ojos tuyos. Que they are really nice. I like them. I have good friends here. And they are so amazing. They are so amazing. The fourth thing I want to talk to you about is cultural shock. Or cultural shocks. If you are coming here, <laughs> be ready to experience some cultural shocks. I was shocked when I came to Czech Republic. Everywhere I passed, people were smoking. Oh my God. Everywhere people were smoking. People were smoking. Let's try sense up. But when the COVID was recorded in first year 2020 in March and people were not outside, I felt like I could now breathe. But in the beginning, it was so crazy. Now that things are okay, people are still smoking. So I was surprised. I was like, people are smoking. A traditional Christian from Ghana I was shocked. I was really shocked. The second thing that shocked me is that Czech people are beer. They drink beer like water. I tried the non-alcoholic beer, and it was so bitter. And I was wondering, what is it about this beer that everybody loves it? Their consumption rate for beer is the highest in the whole world. Yeah. If you're a drunkard and you come to Czech Republic, <laughs> you can imagine. They love beer. I pray for you. <laughs> then the third thing that shocked me was the food. Uh -uh. Ah, the food. I don't even want to go into it right now. I was shocked. Really shocked. I didn't like the way their food tastes. But now I think I'm loving their food. I miss the dumpling. I, I miss, I remember, I think what made me to love their food is when one of my friends invited me to meet his parents. And that day, the mother prepared dumpling with duck. Oh my God, I love it. I ate, ate, and asked for more. Don't say I like food. <laughs> the food was nice. But when my husband came and I took him to one restaurant and we ate dumpling. And this dumpling and we ate dumpling. And this dumpling came with um strawberry. Mm, he didn't like it. <laughs> one of these days I would show you how the dumpling looks like. So I was really shocked with their food. Mm. I'm a traditional Ghanaian girl who loves to see fancy. And all that. I remember my first time being here and I didn't take, um, what did you say to take me? I didn't take okro. And I didn't know where I was going to get okro to buy. <laughs> my brother and my sister, it wasn't easy. I was so dreaming of okro that when I sleep, I'm seeing okro in my dreams. I see myself in the market going to buy okro. I didn't know that I really love okro. But this year, some few weeks ago, a friend took me to one African shop in Prague that I got okra to buy. That makes me I was so excited when I saw okra. Now I don't feel like I miss Ghana because if it's okra, I get it here. If it is Banku next day, then Banchumori and Nebrumori, the cassava and the condo, I get it here. If it's goat meat, I get it here. Kutoje, Kutoje, can you tell about it? Cow feet, cow feet, cow feet. I get it here. And cow face. I love them. I love them. I love the fact that I can eat Ghanaian food here. And I'm so glad. Czech Republic. The fifth thing I want to talk to you about Czech Republic is that Czech Republic has a lot of free education. Yes, especially for PhDs, a lot of free education. And they are paid by the government when you enroll into their program or your faculty pays you. And it's a good thing. Yeah, so there are a lot of schools here that if you are considering to do your postgraduate studies, you can explore. Even undergraduates, you can explore. On this channel, I will show you some of the programs that are being offered here and how to navigate through the system. So that, I mean, we all win. I'm not selfish. No, I'm not selfish. So I will share with you so that you also get the opportunity if you want to come. Yeah, or you know someone who wants to further the education. Once you check your it. And... I also love Czech Republic because the number is not huge and they have a lot of job employment or job offers. It, it, in, in August, there were news all over that the labor market was short of workers. They are looking for workers. There were a lot of job offers here. I will talk to you about it in subsequent wow. videos. So that if you are looking for a job, why not try Czech Republic? You will love it. But it's a cold country though. But you will survive. You will love it. 
So these are the five things I want, wanted to share with you. One, where Czech Republic is located. Two, the language spoken by the people of Czech. Three, the cultural shocks I got when I came here. Four, the population of Czech Republic. And the last one, the job employment and free education. If you enjoyed today's discussion, I want you to comment down below, like, share the video with other people and subscribe to it. Thank you. Love you. See ya.